Good morning. Happy day eight and lesson eight of our Course in Miracles daily practice. So to get started, let's get grounded. Oh, take a nice deep breath in through your nose and let it out through your mouth. Father God, we just thank you so much for the opportunity to gather together once again and explore this work, the application of this text into our lives that we might see through the eyes of love, we might hear with open minds and open hearts that we might be an expression of God's love and peace in the world, bringing about miracles in every moment. Amen. All right, so lesson eight. My mind is preoccupied with past thoughts. I'll take that again. My mind is preoccupied with past thoughts. This idea, of course, this idea is, of course, the reason why you see only the past. No one really sees anything. He sees only his thoughts projected outward. The mind's preoccupation with the past is the cause of the misconception about time from which your seeing suffers. Your mind cannot grasp the present, which is the only time there is. It therefore cannot understand time and cannot, in fact, understand anything. The one holy true thought one can hold about the past is that it is not here. To think about it at all is therefore to think about illusions. Very few have realized what is actually entailed in picturing the past or in anticipating the future. The mind is actually blank when it does this because it is not really thinking about anything. The purpose of the exercises for today is to begin to train your mind to recognize when it is not really thinking at all. While thoughtless ideas preoccupy your mind, the truth is blocked. Recognizing that your mind has merely been has been merely blank rather than believing that it is filled with real ideas is the first step to opening the way to vision. The exercises for today should be done with eyes closed. This is because you actually cannot see anything and it is easier to recognize that no matter how vividly you may picture a thought, you are not seeing anything. With as little investment as possible, Search your mind for the usual minute or so, merely noting the thoughts you find there. Name each one by the central figure or theme it contains and pass on to the next. Introduce the practice period by saying, I seem to be thinking about blank. Then name each of your thoughts specifically. For example, I seem to be thinking about name of person, about name of object, about name of an emotion, and so on. Concluding at the end of the mind searching period with, but my mind is preoccupied with past thoughts. This can be done four or five times during the day unless you find it irritates you. If you find it trying, three or four times is sufficient. You might find it helpful, however, to include your irritation or any emotion that the idea for today might induce in the mind searching itself. All right, today's a good one. Enjoy your practice. See you all tomorrow.